And today we're going to be putting together and showing off this fabric storage cabinet. This can be used as a dresser, a cabinet. You can use it for your nursery. You can put it in the hallway. You can store toys in it. You can use it for a filing cabinet in your office. And it's just an all metal frame with a wooden top and these canvas drawers for storage. And you do get 10 drawers all together. It's really easy to put together. It's very economical to have, and it's a great storage solution in your home or office or nursery. Let's take a closer look at it. So you can see that you get a total of 10 drawers in all with this cabinet. It's got a nice gloss black finish for the top. The drawers open up. They have solid bottoms in the drawers and the solid bottom can come out so you can fold the drawers if you ever needed to collapse the entire unit and store it away. They do have wooden handles for pulls. This is what the side of the unit looks like. And this is what the back looks like. You can see it has an all metal frame. It has extra cross bracing in the back to keep it from wanting to fall over side to side. You can see I can slide it and it's not wiggling or jiggling. It's very solid little frame to hold these canvas drawers. And you also have holes in the frame on both sides. So you can put a long screw that is supplied into the wall to keep this from tipping. So it has the anti-tipping feature as well. In case you're wondering dimensions, from the floor to the top is 47 and a quarter inches. The width is 33 and three quarter inches. The drawers are each 15 and a half inches wide, 10 and a half inches long, and then they are eight inches deep. So fairly nice drawers. So you can probably fit all your clothes in, any accessories that you have, you can use them. They're the perfect size. If you wanted to use a filing cabinet and store paperwork and files, use it in your nursery, a multitude of places that this would come in quite handy. And it looks very modern and very nice. If you don't like the color pattern that I have here, you can move the drawers around and set it up however you want to. So the only thing left to do is, if you have watched the video this far, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you how easy it is to assemble this. So let's go ahead, rewind time, and put this together. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put the chest together right now, just so you can see how simple and easy it is to build the 10 drawer chest. And we have the box here with all the pieces and parts. We have all the different drawers folded up, which makes me think that if you live in a smaller apartment or you move often, this might be a good setup for you because it does an extremely good job and it's very portable. And we'll get the packaging out of the way. So step one, you have three different verticals and these verticals have little L brackets on them. The one on the outside, the L brackets come to the inside. The one in the middle, you have L brackets on both sides. And the one for the left side has the L brackets going this way. So your drawers can sit in there nice and neat. So for the first step, we have to attach these bottom rails across the bottom of the unit. And you can see that you have holes, hole here, hole here, and you have threads on the inside of these little rods. I don't know if you can see that too well. And you'll just put a screw through the hole, like so. This is the angle bracket going on the inside, and you screw in. And they do provide you with the tools. That will be rail number one. And like with everything else that I build, I'll put the screws in there, but I won't tighten them down fully until I get the whole step complete because you don't want to have to loosen stuff and retighten stuff and so on and so forth. Now we're going to put in the right side of the dresser and you can see we're already getting structure here. And now we have to add the center. Now for the center piece, you're going to have threads on the bottom and in the middle of your rails down here, you have a hole where the screw comes up through the bottom into the bottom of the middle section and it will sit on like so. And now that we have this much done, we're going to go ahead and tighten down all the bolts that we just put in. And what I'm going to do to make life easier, I'm just going to flip this upside down so I can tighten up these screws as well. And then just because I have it upside down, you have these 
four plastic little feet and I'm just going to go ahead and screw those in to prevent scratching up my floor. And these can also be adjusted if the floor is slightly unlevel. You can unscrew them and screw them in at different heights if you need to. Okay, and so while I have the unit upside down, I'm going to go ahead and take the top, which you see we have the holes right here for the hardware to attach. And I'm going to set it on the ground and just set the metal frame on top of it. And then I'm just going to go ahead and bolt the top on. All right, so we got all six screws from the metal frame into the top. So we're going to go ahead and flip this over just like so. And then we're going to spin it around where this is the back. And you know it's the back because the metal frame has these little eyelets where you're going to attach the next step, which are these cross braces. So let's go ahead and get these put on. The way these are going to go. going to be just like this so it doesn't want to fall over side to side and here's a pretty interesting note this is an allen wrench and a phillips head screwdriver because you can use both to tighten these up you can use the phillips head screwdriver to do the quick work and then you flip it to the allen head to just tighten them up a little bit and that step is especially useful when you're attaching the lid and just like that we now have a dresser frame so how cool is that what we have to do now is we have to get all these canvas drawers you're going to unfold them and then you can see on the front so you have two holes and that is so you can attach your handles and then you just use a little Phillips screw on these these are little wooden handles they have the hardware in, installed on them already so you just unscrew the hardware out of the handle and then you'll just stick your little screw through and screw it right back in just like so and then just take your little screwdriver and tighten these up just like that and then each drawer is going to get one of these boards an actual board that will go into the bottom of the drawer just like that and it gives you an actual hard bottom and gives the whole drawer structure and then you just simply slide your drawer into the dresser let's go ahead and put the rest of them together and when you install these make sure the little pull tab is facing up so if you need to break the drawer down it's easy to get that piece out and with the final drawer complete you can see it is all done. It only took me about 15, 20 minutes to build this. And most of the time was just putting the handles on the drawers. That was by far the most difficult part. So, and all in all, not very hard to build at all. You do get a couple of really long screws. And what these are used for is you can put it through the frame in the back and bolt it directly to a wall to keep it from tipping as you pull the drawers out. But a very nice lightweight but capable dresser cabinet storage. I hope this video helps and thanks for watching.